watched this with bated breath. It is indeed, indeed a sunshine moment for India. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, for making this happen by opening up new vistas for India's space sector and telling us that sky is not the limit. Thanks also, Honorable PM, for giving us the confidence, the courage, and the conviction to reach out to the stars and to discover the mysteries of the universe beyond. And thanks also for making us realize the enormous potential of our space fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, Indian scientists had been working, toiling day and night for years and years together, but now, now comes the moment of vindication, the moment of redeeming the pledge to the nation. And coming close on the heels of successful Chandrayaan-3 landing, the successful launch of Aditya L1 is also a testimony to the whole of science and a whole of nation approach with which we have sought to adopt in our work culture. While ISRO is credited in executing this mission, the science institutes across the country have come forward to contribute in one form or the other, in small measure or big, to this mission. To name a few, the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru, the National Aerospace Laboratories, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, the Nijri, NGRI, Nagpur, the IIT, Khadakpur, IIT, Madras, IIT, Delhi, IIT, Mumbai, and the list is too long. But that, having said that, gives me the confidence to say that this day, the 2nd of September, 2023 is a day of reckoning when we move on into the next 25 years of Amrit Kal and Mother India pledges with the collective will and collective effort of our 140 crore children to reach and occupy the place of pride on the world pedestal. Congratulations once again, Chairman Somanath, the entire ISRO team and the entire countrymen. Uh, may I request uh, the project director of Adit L1, Nigar Shaji, to s say a few words. Good afternoon. It's a dream come true for uh, team Aditya L1, and I'm extremely happy that Aditya L1 is uh, um, injected in the intended orbit flawlessly by PSLV, as always. And Aditya L1, solar panels are deployed, and the space got to be normal. And Aditya L1 has started its 125 days of long journey towards L1. We have uh, our Earth burns to rise the orbit and, that, and followed by the trans L1 injection and finally insertion into the halo orbit in the sun Earth Lagrange in point L1. Once the Aditya is commissioned, it will be an asset to the heliophysis of the country and even to the global scientific fraternity. And I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro. And see, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also tweeted that Isro has given a lot of support to the scientists. Prime Minister Amit Shah has given a lot of support to the scientists. Jitendra Singh, who is the Prime Minister, has told it as a sunshine movement. Today, the launch of the mission to the Sun Mission. And now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has tweeted this tweet on your TV screens. Congratulations to our scientists and engineers at ISRO for the successful launch of the India's first solar mission, Aditya L1. So, Aditya L1, ki safalta purvak launch ko lekar Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ne ISRO ke vajjyaniko ko, tamam engineers ko badhai di hai. Gre Mantri Amisha is samay Raipur mein maujud hai, wahaan se unho ne ISRO ke vajjyaniko ko badhai di. केंद्रीय मंत्री जितेंद्र सिंह इस समय इसरो के कमांड सेंटर श्री हरिकोटा में मौजूद हैं वहां से उन्होंने इसको सनशाइन मूवमेंट बताया तो कुल मिलाकर 140 करोड़ लोगों के लिए आज सफलता का ये दिन मून मिशन की सफलता के बाद अब ये सूर्यान अपनी मंजिल की ओर आगे बढ़ चुका है
Sri Biju, the mission director and the project director of PSLV. Good afternoon to all. My big salute to all of you for achieving this wonderful mission of Aditya. We have injected Aditya in its intermediate orbit. PSLV in its uh, 59th mission has successfully accomplished uh, injecting Aditya L1 in its intermediate orbit. It's all because of the dedicated effort of all of you. Uh, the challenging requirements given by satellite team was indeed very, um, uh, in, in, in it, it was very challenging to meet the orbital requirements. We have given, gone for a new mission design strategy. We have gone through an, numerous simulations to validate this, and that is the proof that you are having now. I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for achieving this wonderful mission. I take this opportunity to thank all my review forums, chairman and members of all review forums, and our industry partners for giving high reliable systems for PSLV and all our family members. With this, our capability of PSLV has increased manifold to venture into new missions, to new and challenging missions. I take this opportunity to thank my project team led by our, our Sri MJ Lal as well as uh, we uh, Damodaran Vehicle Director and Associate Aditya Vehicle Director in leading the entire campaign. Z News.